It's now time for you to meet the board members. Welcome and thank you for joining us on Meet the Board Members where we seek to get up close and personal with the persons who sit on the Jamaica Society for the Blinds Board of Directors. Now, today's guest is... Stevenson and I'm a board director. Well, I found out about the JSB by working at this place named Goodwill Industry and then I met Dainty and some other blind people like Alfonso and Errol and they told me about the JSB. I know about Salvation Army School for the Blind, but I did not know about JSP, so they told me about JSP. And then I started visiting here and, you know, get involved. I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. And I said, under the clock, right, the Jubilee Hospital. <laughs> I am the fifth child of ten, fourth girls of five. I was a quiet child. I attended village all in school, but I did not go to school until I was 12. The reason why, I born with, with I was visually impaired from birth. My mother was very overprotected. She didn't want to let me go, not even out of the house. So she sent me at this little basic school in the area until I was 12. When I was 12, the owner for the basic school got a job at the Ole school and she decided she wasn't going to leave me there, so she'd take me with her. So I went to Greenwich All Age. Everybody said I was teacher picking me the class. She'd take me like her home. I stayed at Greenwich All Age until I was 15, but I was excellent at school. After 15, I, my mother, they want to send me to Denham Town, and my mother said, no, I cannot manage Denham Town. So they sent me this training center named Lincoln Duffers Training Center, where I did a lot of different things. And then from there, I did level one. I was to do level two in St. Mary, which is another boarding place where my mother said, no, I'm not going there. So I went to coach. It was early childhood education where I started doing early childhood training. From coach, I started going to, you know, like evening classes. I did telephone operating, did telephone operating. I continued doing the early childhood training at art, where so I am a trained early childhood teacher. I was employed same place at well now it changed from child welfare to vouch so i was employed at vouch for 15 to 20 years well i'm a, as i said i'm a trained early childhood teacher i was working there for quite a while about 20 years and then i left and go to goodwill industry where i was a cashier and i then Goodwill closed down, I went back to Vouch and I was at Vouch until 2002. I got a job at Digicel, which I'm now presently at Digicel as an office attendant. Now at Digicel, I do other training. I do like home economics with art and I did customer service with art. And so I was at trained office attendant. I'm still now with Digicel from 2002 until present. I am also on the well, Library and Recreation Committee, so I help with planning of events, 
anything them have. I am the one that is in the kitchen, doing the cooking, doing the serving. I volunteer like World Site Day, any of those things. I am always volunteering, always helping. Well, to be honest, my views on blind and visually impaired person was that blind people can't do anything. Although I'm visually impaired and I used to the salvation of a school for the blind, I used to take myself and say, go oh, and I can't see so. I just have to sit down and my mother to go look after me for the rest of my life. By growing up and getting used to them, watching them doing, I realized that when people is just honor people and there's nothing they cannot do. They say, don't limit them to do, stop them from doing anything. So, I feel change with that. Well, the services, I feel the services they offer are good, although they need I believe they need to do more, especially to the people in the rural area. They need to find, you know, some way to help the people in the rural area. Because there's a lot of people in the rural area that really no no services there for them. And I think, you know, we could do something else like have more training or, you know, help other people to get more work or something like that. So, you know, things that they can get employed, employment. Relax. I don't relax. I cannot relax. If I stay quiet, I am sick. I always have to find something to do. I have to be cleaning. I love to clean, so I always clean. If the house is clean, I pull up the house and turn it around a different way. I always find things to do. My favorite meal is upstairs with broad bean and rice and peas, curry, anything in curry, and soup. I love soup. To our member staff, I believe they are doing an excellent job. I congratulate them. I am glad to work with them. They are doing an excellent job. And to our clientele, we hope to give them more service, better service. Thank you for listening. And join us next time on Meet, Meet the, the Board members. members. This has been a production of the JSB Library.